Hello, tubers. This is Pat Jordan coming to you from the Grain Ghetto in Ill Annoyed. I've been working, which is why I haven't done any videos lately. You can either work your ass off, see my picture, I literally have no ass, trying to save the world, or you can give your biometrics as FaceTime on a vlog to talk about what you haven't done. I mean, if anyone has the formula to save the world, well, then look around, man. Nobody's fixed it yet. So here we are. Sandwich Lady is one of our little red hens. She and I have been working on a curious thing called, Why Can't I Get Well No Matter What the Fuck I Do? I troll the internet and YouTubes. There will be too many people who will respond to this topic saying, well, if you only do this or do this, and then you will be cured. To which I have a hearty but unenthusiastic bullshit for. The reason is simple. A. The people promoting the miracle and even a few of their followers might have even gotten results. But we ain't them. The herd then defers to, well, that's because we're all unique. Which I obliterate with, we've all been damaged in unique ways. This is the heart of why one's person miracle can be another person's disaster. As Sandwich Lady and I dug deep into the topic of mitochondrial damage that I had previously thought happened only to young children who got modern vaccines, I got bitch slapped in the face with the fact that mitochondrial damage was a worldwide epidemic and news flash to me. 90% of adults are stupid enough to volunteer for modern vaccines. How someone with such a big brain can be such a dumbass is beyond me, but then I aspire to be the biggest dumbass possible. I like to do everything to the best of my ability. But as we came to looking at mitochondrial damage through what people are familiar with as the organics acid tests, that also shows cellular metabolic processes out of balance or broken. This then becomes a serious issue of chicken or the egg or cart lying on top of the horse to figure out which one came first. The mitochondrial damage or the cytosolic cellular metabolism damage. Added to the burden of sorting out if an organelle inside a cell was a problem or the cell machinery itself was the problem, then being on a low oxalate diet group exposed me to a statistically inordinate amount of adults with some pretty serious genetic damage. I started calling this condition mixed metabolic disorders, but it was not descriptive enough or catchy enough. The failing of alternative health is that just like the monsters it pretends to protect us against, those alternate charlatan gurus like to specialize as well. So they pick mitochondria as their pet and supposedly treat only that. I absolutely despise yuppie fucks when they give their pets cute names like Mito. As if their consuming herd can't say Mito fucking chondria, let alone know what it is. So just keep being a new age slacker. Send us your money and we'll send you your monthly Mito sups. Sups. Meds. Fa. That's short for fuck. I just didn't feel like putting energy into the full expression of forced intercourse. But that's what it is, isn't it? Intercourse is not just a town in Pennsylvania next to Blue Ball. <laughs> Look it up on the map, man. You freak. It is the phrase used for doing business. The intercourse of nations.
international commerce. And boy, do the alternates pour on the business. Their other specialty is that of metabolic disorders. Let's be honest here. I mean, it's just us. Do you really know what a mitofuckinchondria is or what it does? If you knee-jerk responded with, it's the powerhouse of the cells that you learned to repeat in school to get a banana chip, then just pay the man your monthly fee for palliatives to limp you along until you die. The little fuckers are the targets of every pharmaceutical drug out there. Sandwich Lady was so distraught about what drugs might do damage to the little blighters that she found a list of what drug classes damage mito. All of them? Search over. So what we are looking at beyond the lot and serial number vaccine operation paperclip experiments is that they can target someone with a drug, then through electronic records have the most comprehensive database of damage to that individual or group based on whether it damaged their mitofuckingchondria or their cytoplasmic metabolism, the next stop in this trolley to hell, or the host cell DNA. Let's say for the sake of reality that your mitochondria are damaged. I'll call them what they really are because in this age of youth not being able to sort truth from reality, my only fame in Wikipedia would probably be the man who got all youth to say mitofuckingchondria. Hey, look, I said it again. So your coal furnace is mucked up by something that they did to it. Nothing happens in isolation. What happens in mito does not stay in mito. So whatever the coal furnace is exporting will get into the insides of the cell where the mitochondria reside. And if what they are putting out is damaged, then that will damage our next phase of life, the cellular metabolic functions. More like cytosolic metabolic functions, the jelly inside the cell that is differentiated from the mitochondria that are organelles and the nucleus that holds the library on how you are supposed to be built and function. Oh, shit. Here we go. If the mitochondria is damaged so that its input and or output is damaged and the cytosol or the cell surface is damaged so that its input and or output functions are worse than a computer blue screen, then there is no way that the same or different influences that took out the mitochondria or the cellular mechanics couldn't or wouldn't have an effect either directly or indirectly on the genes inside the nucleus of that same cell. Damage the genes in the nucleus, and all bets are off. It's like getting a car repair manual, turning to the page on how to repair the transmission, but the instructions say, go fuck yourself. All right, that's helpful. But it gets better. Hey, this is a Jordan video, and we're only scratching the surface and that bullseye rash. The mitochondria have their own DNA. From a logistics point of view, this is a disaster. Looking for a broken runway to land on during an earthquake followed by tsunami. She's the passenger in seat number 66. So my goal was to try to communicate to the average man, woman, and fluid what we were up against with mixed metabolic disorders. To make it plain that you couldn't describe them or treat them in isolation. All three of those gears are meshing and if there are broken teeth on any of the gears or all of them, then the machine taint going nowhere. When you look at it 
mechanistically, instead of parting it out like a specialty, then each dysfunction will unavoidably affect another function downstream. I'm sure that the folks dealing with the MTHFR mutations realize that one goddamn letter change in an entire gene can fuck up multiple body processes. And that's just the genetics part of it. What we uncovered is that all of these mutations, disruptions, and disasters were happening simultaneously like a Rube Goldberg machine in hell. This is just the introductory video to get you on board with the new meme, the new way of looking at it, and the new approach that has to be taken if mankind wants to fucking survive. Although at the rate and direction things are going in a sustainable, hand-woven cane basket on the rocket sled ride to hell, I really don't know why anyone would want to be here other than delivering payback to those who did this to us. In her relentless searches, Sandwich Lady found Paul Bregan, a luminary in exposing the fraud that is psychiatric medicine. His work showed with evidence how the military drug industry purposely and with malice aforethought set out to destroy mankind with their chemical weapons. He would list a drug or class of drugs, then describe how they would specifically harm the victim. Bregan brought us right up to my personal goal of what to name this collection of mixed metabolic disorders when he described how drug companies from at least the 1970s onward knew that there were products that were pure poison. Bregan called them cytotoxic. Cyto means cell, toxic means poison just like chemotherapy. I'll let that sink in. Chemosabi, chemotherapy, uses cytotoxic agents, poisons that kill cells. Psych drugs are chemotherapy. The revelation for me came when I saw the cyto part. My mind stretched it to mean cytosol, the jelly inside the cell. Everyone is all about the mito, but they ain't talking about no cyto, and only specialists dabble in the geno. Cytomitogenopathology. It has to be integrated. And it slips off the top. The, uh, it slips. I'll bet it does. It slips off the it's been a late night, folks. It slips off the end of your tongue. Um, <laughs> where was I? It has to be integrated. You can't specialize. The whole patient is broken because their whole cell is broken. You can't just stuff a new gear and some sawdust in the transmission and hope it makes it past the used car lot. Bregan's work went public in 1983. That's 36 years. An entire generation behind the eight ball. Yet I'm the only one talking about this in terms of continuum. You can't learn the song in a few bars at a time, one instrument at a time. You have come to La Concerto di Cacophony, nearly at the final movement. The pressure threshold is unbearable, the notes don't make sense, and you have no skills at getting the players to stop. In my follow-up videos, I will tell you what all of your non-friends in medicine and alternative medicine have been hiding from you. The Giordano da Vinci Code, hidden inside the musical score of Mad Men. Until then, follow the bouncing ball. <laughs>